today we want to talk about the radio program and um, how you can design it from scratch. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of English with Sarvi. The first thing you need to ask yourself is where you are going to make it for, which age are you planning it for, like are you planning it for primary students, middle schoolers or high schoolers. The third thing um, is that who you can get help from and I mean you need all the help you can get um, because it is definitely teamwork that you need in there. Um, the other thing is the list of all of the programs that you will have in that episode of your work. You may have like 10 episodes, 5 episodes, 4 episodes of the radio program or just one. But you need to know exactly what you want to broadcast. Like is it going to be just drama? Um, the radio theater, or you want to have some sort of reality show as well. So these are the basic things that you need to decide. Now let's move into the details. Um, the details, for us, it was like we were working with middle schoolers, so our kids were around 12 to 15, and... Uh, let me see, I had only one hour. They told me that the program needs to be um, one hour in total. So a one hour radio program. And the other thing, if I want to tell you who I got help from, I need to first tell you about the uh, list of the programs and the things that I had. Like one of them was drama, the other one was the reality show with my guests. I also had the teachers as my guests in the reality show. Also, I had some songs in between to make my radio program like um, fun and not boring and not dull for my audience. So, uh, the first thing you need to do is to uh, work on the drama. If you're having drama, first you need to work on drama. Uh, the items that you need to consider are First, the script. You can get help from this website, www.nebuildandgrow.com. You can get your script from there, but you will definitely need someone to work on the script and uh, uh, make it somehow user-friendly, uh, better for your audience, more pleasant for your type of audience. For example, we found our drama script, but the, you know, the script didn't have a narrator, so we added that role to our own script to make it uh, more fun and more pleasant for our audience. After the script, you need to divide the roles between your students and you need someone to push your students to send their voice recordings and it cannot be you because you're gonna be like the director of the whole thing, you need to give samples to the students, you need to be the one to encourage them, uh, to uh, tell them about voice acting and how fun it can be. Uh, in my case, I remember that I showed uh, you know, some YouTube videos of some famous voice actors to my students to make them uh, feel motivated and want to be, uh, you know, volunteer to uh, be in the radio program because we really didn't force them into doing it. It's not fun when you force your students into doing something which is supposed to be fun. <laughs> so we didn't do that. I just showed those YouTube videos and made them um, love it and motivated in order to be in the radio program. I provided an email and in that email I explained all of the rules that they need to abide by. Like for example, they need to sit in a quiet place, they need to use uh, like not WhatsApp, not Telegram, a, a voice recording app in order to record their voice messages. They need to have each line um, of their roles in one file, like different files, so that the editing process wouldn't be like hard. Um, so give them samples, give them examples, and then it will be much easier. After the email, I told you, you need to have somebody to push them, you need to remind them of the deadline that they have, 
and uh, while they are sending their voice recordings to you, you need to listen to those voice recordings one by one when they send them uh, in order to make sure that they are uh, right in the quiet place, there is no background noise, um, they are really acting it out and not just reading from the script. Um, so you really need to be a guide. That's why I told you that you need help in here and you cannot do everything <laughs> I mean, um, by yourself. Um, I can be a pen in the neck wanting to do everything by myself, but believe me, an efficient teamwork can make this uh, much more memorable, exciting and interesting for both you and your team. Remember to ask your students to first send you an introduction of themselves. Like for example, hello, my name is blah blah blah, from this branch of school, uh, mention the name of the school, the roles in the radio program, in the drama, and yeah, that's what I want. Of course, that's what you need. Hi, my name is Kaira. I'm from Visio Marina Campus, Grade 6. I will be voice acting Giant 1. Enjoy your time. And then, I guess I told you everything. Yes, for editing, you will need an editor, but if you really don't have the luxury of having an editor or um, you've got some administrative issues that make you need to edit your uh, voice recordings all by yourself, um, you will need a user-friendly editing program. In my case, I used Goldwave and um, it was not very hard to use. I loved working with it. I was working around the clock, so it was not easy for me. Um, I was working 24 seven, but uh, I'm sure that if you plan and manage your time and get all the help from the people around you that you can, you will be able to manage. If you need me to record another video and tell you everything about Gold Wave, and uh, how you can edit um, your voice recordings through that app. Don't forget to tell me in the comment section below. Um, the last thing that I uh, need to tell you about uh, the radio program is to be careful with the music that you choose. You need to make it perfect. If you're choosing, you know, music for your drama, uh, you need to make it dramatic like try some um, royalty-free music that can help you uh, show the feelings of those scenes to your audience. If you also plan to have like a reality show, uh, then you need to have presenters for that reality show. Um, in my case, I chose one of my friends, uh, Masood, because we do have a great vibe, a positive vibe with each other, um, cracking jokes and all. Yeah, you need it to be pleasant. I mean, you, you need it to be pleasant and fun to listen to. And um, not all of the people that you choose I mean, you're the, you are probably going to choose teachers. They might not be voice actors or TV, radio presenters. So you need to create some sort of context for them. You may even need to write their lines for them so that it will be as, um, you know, beautiful and pleasant as you want it to be. And then um, you can just uh, guide them through it and ask them to go ahead and record their own voice messages and then again send it to you. So if you like this video, remember to share it with your friends and if you haven't done it already, it's not too late. Go ahead, push the subscribe button and also don't forget to push the bell button right next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Love you, bye bye.